Hello and welcome to Otten Math. In this edition of Otten Math, we're going to go through some problems that require addition and subtraction properties and also probability. We've got two problems for you. The first one, two-part question. We have problem number 17. Ray BF, we're given that Ray BF bisects angle DBE. So Ray BF bisects angle DBE. So because Ray BF bisects angle DBE, we know that 3x plus 7 is going to be equal to 5x minus 35. So we can solve for x and see what value we get for x. So I say 3x plus 7 is equal to 5x minus 35. Then I know that 2x is going to be equal to 42, and x will be equal to 21. If x is equal to 21, then angle DBC is going to be equal to angle ABE, because I have 2x, 2 times 21, which is 42, minus 22, which is going to be 20. So both ABE and DBC are going to be 20 degrees. Now the second part of this question asks, what did we discover about angle ABC and ray BF? Well, we know that angle ABE and DBC are going to be equal to 20 degrees. Angle EBF is congruent to angle DBF. And we know that X is going to be equal to 21. So we figure out that X, 3X plus 7, or 3 times 21 plus 7 is equal to 70. And 5X minus 35 is also equal to 70. FBD is 70 degrees. And DBC is 70 degrees. So we know that FB is going to be perpendicular to ABC. So I have 70 degrees here, 70 degrees here, and we discovered this is 20 degrees and this is 20 degrees as well. So BF is going to be perpendicular to AC. In the second question, another two-part question, well, we're asked to determine the sum of the measures of angles um, angles that are less than 90 degrees. So we're given 10 different angles, and we're asked to choose two at random, and we're asked to decide what's the probability that the two that we choose are going to be less than 90 degrees. So the question reads, if two angles are chosen at random from the 10 angles in the diagram, what is the probability that a, the sum of their measures is less than 90 degrees? So I've written out the 10 different uh, angles, A, B, C, D, a, B, B, C, C, D, A, B, C, B, C, D, and A, B, C, D. Uh, the measure of angles A, B, C, and D are all 30 degrees. The measure of A, B, B, C, C, D are all 60 degrees. And the measure of A, B, C, B, C, D are 90 degrees. And then, of course, A, B, C, D is equal to 120 degrees. And then I've labeled A, B, C, D, A, B, B, C, C, D, A, B, C, B, C, D, and A, B, C, D as a numerical value. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. Okay, so the question is, what's the probability that the sum of the measures is less than 90 degrees? Okay, so I've written out all the possible combinations. I have angle 1 and 2, 1 and 3, 1 and 4, 1 and 5, so on and so forth. 2 and 3, 2 and 4, 2 and 5, and so forth. 3 and 4, 3 and 5, 3 and 6, and so forth. And there are 45 different possibilities. Now, of those 45 different possibilities, only 6 of those possibilities, uh, 6 of those combinations, are going to be angles whose sum is less than 90 degrees. So 1 and 2, less than 90 degrees. 1 and 3, less than 90 degrees. 1 and 4 less than 90 degrees, 2 and 3, 2 and 4, and 3 and 4 and less than 90 degrees. Everything else, every other combination is going to be 90 degrees or greater. So of the 45, we have six combinations that, uh, whose sum is less than 90 degrees. And we can simplify that to 2 over 15. So the probability <coughs> that we choose two angles and that their sum is less than 90 degrees is 2 over 15. In the next part of the question, we're asked to find if we choose two angles um, at random from the 10 angles that are given, what's the probability that they are complementary? 
Okay, so we go back to our list of different combinations, and we see that one in five, one in six, one in seven, two in five, two in six, two in seven, three in five, three in six, three in seven, four, five, four in five, four in six, and four in seven are all going to be complementary. So of the 45, we have 12 out of the 45 that 12 combinations that will be complementary, or there's some will add up to 90 degrees. And I can reduce this uh, by a factor of 3 to 4 over 15. So my answer is <clears throat> the probability that I choose two angles at random from the 10 and that they are complementary, those two angles are complementary, will be 4 out of 15.